Y'all clap like y'all know me and shit. <laughs> ah, all right. Y'all good people, man. I appreciate the love. Don't, don't you hate when people, like, look at you and think they know you, right? Like, they assume they know you. Like, I wear glasses, all right? So people be thinking I'm Urkel and shit, all right? And, you know, people think I'm smart. I don't know shit. I just have bad vision, you know what I mean? I had a girl flirt with me one day. She goes, she was attracted to me because she liked nerds. I'm like, nerd, bitch, you better go find you a nerd. I'm not a nerd, I just have bad vision, man. Are y'all laughing with me or at my black ass? <laughs> I always wanted to be a pretty boy, you know? One of the model looking dudes that women look at and be like, ooh, girl, look at him, I eat him up. But when you wear glass, women look at you, they go, ooh, look at him, I bet he could fix my computer. I can't fix no computer, people. I just have bad vision, all right? <laughs> and it's a damn shame, because I love hip-hop. Hip-hop feeds my spirit, you know? I hope they play hip-hop at my funeral. Fuck crying, play with some Biggie or some shit. <laughs> We're Brooklyn now. We're about oh, all that shit. I wanted to move to Brooklyn just so I could say, We're Brooklyn now, right here. Right here, nigga. Right here, nigga. Right Hip-hop was about peace and love at one point. Now this shit gangsta as hell. I kill your kids, nigga, your wife, and your plants, nigga. I'm gonna kill them. <laughs> I can't be no thug. I wear glasses. I can't be gangster with astigmatism. <laughs> like, nigga, what you say to me, fool? I'm a killer. <laughs> but you lucky I gotta go to Lens Crafters. Pick up my prescription. But I should be back in about an hour, goddamn it. Everybody trying to be rappers. Everybody trying to keep up with rappers. If you're broke, stay in your broke position. Don't be trying to keep up with these rich brothers. Niggas buying spinning rims and still live with their mama. <laughs> you know? If you broke and you purchased $10,000 spinning rims, those rims are symbolic to your life. It look like you're moving, but your ass ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Fuck a spinning rim. I like to see brothers in Bentleys, though. That's a cool thing that hip hop has been able to get brothers to buy Bentleys, you know? Because Bentleys used to be for these rich, stuffy guys. I drive a Bentley. <laughs> now you got brothers pulling up right next to them. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Nigga got a Bentley. <laughs> Pardon me, you got any hot sauce? Nigga. It's a hustle living in America, though, man. You gotta survive. You got to hustle. You got to work your ass off, you know? I had a brother that used to sell coke, man. My brother sold a lot of coke. He sold so much, he moved away to one of those gated communities, uh, prison. Yeah. Don't judge a drug dealer, though, man. You got to be brilliant to sell crack on the street. I wouldn't know how to do that shit. I'd be trying to sell it on eBay or something, put ads in newspapers. My brother got busted. He always said it was a conspiracy. That's who my brother was, one of the conspiracy dudes, you know? Like, uh, my brother, one summer, I wanted to celebrate the 4th of July. You know, my brother went nuts. He was like, you want to celebrate the 4th of July? Oh, brother, you lost. See, because a black man ain't had no independence, 1776. You can look at that word, 4th of July. Break it down. You can see it ain't for the black man. Four, see that? That represents 400. That's 400 years of slavery, 400 years of oppression. Look at the word Jew lie. Break it down. Jew lie. Jews lie. Jews lie. 400 years of Jews lies. I'm like, damn, I didn't look at it that way. I'm, I'm just trying to go to a picnic. Picnic? Did you use that word picnic? Break that down. Picnic, picnic. Pick a nigga. You better be careful. You may be the nigga they pick. Like, damn, I can't do shit. Shit! It's <laughs> my brother, man. He always complained why he got busted with crack and shit. He's like, I know I sold crack. Shit, I live in a drug-infested neighborhood, the United States, goddammit. Everybody else making money, shit. You mean to tell me somebody flew cocaine 4,000 miles from Columbia all the way through U.S. airspace and nobody saw the shit till it got in my pocket? It's a conspiracy, nigga. Conspiracy. 
Kyle. I don't know if I like that name. That's not, when you hear Kyle, you don't think of a strong man, dingo black man. That sounds like a six-year-old white kid, don't it? Well, Kyle. Come here, Kyle. Kyle, get back here. You know, a brother need a name like Mooka Dean or Darrell or some shit. Like, you could hear a woman say, ooh, girl, Darrell coming over. Ooh, Darrell gonna tear this ass up. Not Kyle. Oh, Kyle's coming over. He's gonna fix my computer. All right, family, I'm Kyle. I appreciate the love. Thank you.